You know, the thing about this is after I'm done filming these, my hair looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it looks like I could go walk on Rodeo Drive and blend in. Alright, so for these week of vlogs, at least on my part, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite things of the Olympics. Because I love the Olympics so much. So much. Now I'm tilted, but that's okay. We're all friends here. I'm going to work my way backwards and talk about the closing ceremonies last night. They were awesome. Now, this is in no particular order. It was just the stuff I remembered that I wrote down that I was like, I have to mention this. I have to mention this. I freaked out when the Spice Girls came on. You don't know this about me, but I actually went to their 2008 reunion concert. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, jealousy start now. Just kidding. Just kidding. It was awesome, though. So seeing them all up there, it was just amazing. And I was like, I can't remember the last time I saw Victoria Beckham, like, do something other than, like, design clothes and look all, you know. I can't do it. I don't, I don't have that face. But you know what I'm talking about. I love them. I love the Spice Girls. I'm so excited. So if you have Vigo, which is an app on your iPhone, iPhone, why did I say it like that? Uh, you, they had, you like get points and there's like Viggo Live and Viggo Live like you answered trivia questions and took polls like and did predictions like who do you think's going to win the race and you get like points if you were right or even if you were wrong. So we were Viggo Living the whole time. Even when I was in Wisconsin, I did some Viggo Living <laughs> and I had 74,000 points. I had gotten it was at like 72,000, so I got like 2,000 points the first few days of Viggo Live because you know, I was in Wisconsin, and then I didn't see it because I was in a tow truck. And we never told you that story, do we? Anyway, so I, yeah, I get home, and me and my mom, we would watch it 8 to 12, and Viggo Live 8 to 12. I am now at over almost, I am almost at 125,000 points just thanks to the Olympics. So thank you, Olympics, and I spent 19,000 of those points on a London pin, so add... 19,500 to that, that's what I would have been up to. So thank you, Big Ol' Live, and thank you, Olympics. Me and Prince Harry have something in common. Because while the bright, uh, the always look on the bright side of life was playing, I was like singing it and like, you know, singing it in my house and petting Ella and being like, always look on the bright side of life, Ella. And then they cut to Prince Harry singing it. So me and Prince Harry have something in common. We both like that song and we both sing it during the closing ceremonies. So yeah. Yeah. Me and Prince Harry, BFFs. Sorry, Cassie. It's okay. He's my best prince friend. Okay. I, I put my best friends in categories, so none of them feel like Elle is my best canine friend, Prince Harry is my best prince friend, Cass RJ and Cassie are my best friend, they're in the same category, because you're allowed to have two best friends if you're Carly, because Carly's are awesome. Yeah. One Direction was really good. Now, I'm not like a directioner where I'm like, ah, I'm on direction, but they that was pretty cool for them to be at the Olympics. Like, I like watching people's dreams like come true like when uh, Lady Gaga was performing with Elton John like you just knew that was her dream coming true and I guess to end this all off besides that lady almost getting hit with the ship did you see that dancer that Annie Lennox's ship almost hit her it was funny but uh, oh I love the fashion like fashion fashion I forget the song now but it was like fashion Fashion. I love that part. This was it was an amazing closing ceremony. I didn't see the opening ceremony. Don't tell anyone. I saw like the end of it. And I guess to close it off, I just want to tell you this was Ella's first Olympics. Yep, my little dog's first Olympics, and she absolutely loved them. So we will see you tomorrow for well, you'll see Cassie for a vlog, but stay tuned for Wednesday where I'm going to tell you about my favorite commercials because I had to watch them because of Big Ol' Live. Thank you, Big Ol' Live. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.